time over to our instructors for class. Thanks. I've started recording. Hi, everyone. This is Lori from Kid Made Modern. Thanks so much for everyone for joining us for our fun Michael's class today to celebrate back to school. We're partnering here with Tessa. She is from Studio Jane. Uh, we know we probably met a few of you guys before. We're excited to have you back. So Tessa, go right ahead. Hi, yes, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us and crafting with us today. I'm so excited to be here. Um, and today we are going to be making these adorable little bookmarks. Um, so as some of you have probably already started school this week, or some of you are probably about ready to start in the next week or two, um, these little guys are fun that you can use them at school or at home. Um, they make great little bookmarks, also fun to make them as gifts for maybe your new friends or classmates. Um, so you can make them in a ton of different styles. Uh, we're going to show you a couple different ways to make them today. So you can see here we've got little flower tops on them. Um, I'm going to go through the whole material list with you guys in just a minute. Um, or you can also make a little monogram or a little letter top. So these, if you want to put the first letter of your name or if you're making them for a friend, um, you can put their letter. But you can also get creative and make any shape or design that you want. Um, so feel free to turn your bookmark into any style that works for you. All right, so to make our bookmarks today, we are going to be using wooden craft sticks. Um, and all of these little supplies that we're using today, like these craft sticks and other little details to add fun little sparkle or texture to these all come from our Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Library. Um, and it has tons of other little decorative element. So you can use your library if you are using that today to use all sorts of little um, details. So yeah, we're going to be using wooden craft sticks as the base of our bookmark. And then we're going to be using construction paper. So I just have a few different colors here. Um, you can use any colors that you want, depending on what you have at home. Um, this is what we're going to be cutting our letters and flowers out of. So you can also just use white computer paper or book or um, notebook paper if you have that. Anything will work. Um, if you don't have paper, you can also cut letters or shapes out of felt um, or cardboard. Um, anything like that will work as well, even a paper plate. All right, and then um, in addition to our wooden craft sticks from our arts and crafts library, you can also use little mini pom poms. We've got wooden beads and little um, flower shaped sequins, googly eyes, and little rhinestones. So any of these are fun little elements you can add to the centers of your flowers or um, add a little face to a letter. So anything like this will be fine. And you don't need all of these supplies. It's totally up to you what you want yours to look like. Um, so these are all just options for you to use. And then lastly, we're going to be using um, just a white craft glue. Um, you can also use a glue dot if you want to, those will work. And then a marker or a pencil. So I'm just using a black marker that's probably a little bit thicker so you guys can see it. Um, but a pencil, a colored pencil, anything like that will work to draw your shapes and letters. All right, so I think that that's all the supplies you're going to need. So go ahead and gather all those up if you haven't already, um, and we're gonna get started. All right, so we've got our little samples here. Um, so our first step is going to be drawing out our shapes. So again, you can use any color paper that you want. I'm gonna start with this shade of red construction paper. And um, if you, again, are using just white paper or notebook paper, um, a paper plate, then you can also always paint it or cover it or color it in with colored pencils. So if you don't have a, a color that you want, you can always turn it into that color a little later. All right, so we're going to start with our um, flower options first. So I'm going to use a couple different colors here together. So I'm gonna make a um, red and orange flower. And so to start, I'm just going to draw a flower. You can make any style that you want. Um, I'm just going to draw rounded petals. So I kind of do long, almost an oval, but then kind of stop before I get to the end. And the flowers that I'm drawing for this larger one is about two inches or so total. 
and you can draw any kind of flower that you want. And if yours are different size petals or um, anything like that, that's totally fine. All flowers come in a ton of different shapes and sizes. Maybe you want to make your own style flower um, or you want to draw something totally different and that's fine too. You can draw an animal or stars or uh, hearts, anything like that would be adorable as well. Okay, so my first flower here that I drew is about um, two inches or so um, tall. And I'm going to draw a smaller one as well in the same red color. So next to I'm just going to draw a small one in the same shape. So now I've got two flowers in red. And now I'm going to draw a third flower that's similar, um, but kind of in between these two sizes. And this is going to be how we're going to layer them all together, like we did in this little sample here. So you can see all different layers of similar styles, but different colors. All right, so I'm just doing the same thing here, but just a little bit smaller. So now I've got three different flowers here and I'm going to grab my scissors, which you're going to need to cut out any of your shapes that you're making today. And we're just going to cut these out. So sometimes I like to cut the little shape that I'm cutting out off of the big piece of paper. That way you're not struggling with all this extra paper in your scissors. So just going to cut now along the lines that I drew. And you can always flip over your shape. So if you have edges that are showing from your marker, um, you can always flip it over afterward and you won't see those. And again, we're gonna make a couple different versions of these today. So if you are still drawing, um, don't worry. We're gonna go through all the steps a couple of times. And then you can always go back around as you cut and round off any corners that maybe didn't get rounded the first time. And then when I turn over my little flower shape here, um, all those little marker lines disappeared. All right, so we're going to do the same thing with our other two sizes. And again, I'm just making a red and orange flower, but you can make yours any color. You can always add extra elements like paint or glitter or anything like that as well afterward to decorate it further if you want to. Always love seeing how you guys take an idea and turn it into something totally unique. All right, so we finished cutting this. Again, I'm gonna go back around to any little edges and trim that up. So now we can see we've got two flowers when we stack them together. And now we'll cut out our smallest and last flower. And as you cut these out, uh, again, if you cut off a petal, just start again. If you feel like you don't like the shape of yours, don't worry about that. It's going to look adorable when you layer them all together. If they're all a little different, that looks really cute too. Um, but yeah, if you cut off a petal or if you're cutting it and um, you make a little air, just start again. That's what's great about these when you're just drawing your own shapes is that it's really easy to make as many different versions as you want. So now you can see, got all three of our little flowers here together. And from here, we're going to glue these together. 
So I'm just taking my white craft glue here and putting a little dot of glue in the middle. And then taking my second flower, so my medium size, and pressing it right on top. And now put another little dot of glue on top of that. And take your smallest flower and layer it on top of the orange one. So now we've got this fun little layered flower look. And then once these are all glued together, sometimes what I like to do is bend the flowers just a little bit to give them a little bit more dimension. So I'm going to hold the flower between my two fingers in the middle here to make sure that they don't separate. And then I'm just going to put a little petal in between my, two, my middle finger and my thumb on my other hand, and then press my pointer finger in the middle and just kind of squeeze my petal. Mm -hmm. And that just creates a little bit of a dent in it that gives it a little bit of dimension to your flower. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this, um, but just adds a little bit of extra shape to your flower so it's not quite so flat. You can do that to all of them or just one. And again, I'm holding the flower in the center of my other hand to make sure that they don't separate. So now this flower has a little bit more of a shape to it, isn't quite so flat, it makes it a little bit more obvious of the different um, layers there. All right, so next we're gonna add a little center. Um, so you can do all sorts of different centers. You can just glue on a little wooden bead in the middle, and um, that would be adorable. You can do a little, Pom pom in the center, um, a um, little flower sequin, which is cute. So I think I'm going to do a combination of things on here. I'm going to take a little um, green sequin, put a little dot of glue in the center, and then press my sequin on top. I'm just going to hold it for a second to make sure that it starts to adhere there. And then I'm going to add on a little wooden bead as well. So just again, putting a little dot of glue in the middle and then layering on my wooden bead. Um, my sequin doesn't want to stick. If you're having any trouble with your sequin as well, you might want to use a little glue dot for that. Um, let's stick on a glue dot first. And a glue dot, I'm just going to stick to the back of my sequin. Kind of see that little, looks like a little gooey dot there. And then we'll stick that to our paper. And then we'll glue our bead down again. Yeah, so someone just asked what a glue dot is. So a glue dot, are they just sticky things? <laughs> that They are, yeah. So these glue dots, I don't know if you guys can really see them on here. This is a little roll of glue dots that you can get at Michael's. Um, the Kid Made Modern um, Arts and Crafts Library come with little sheets of them as well. And they have little, they're basically like a little circle, a little dot of um, like sticky, adhesive. So it's sort of like a combination of tape and glue. And I'll pull one off here. They are very sticky. You can see I'm pulling this here. And now it's on my finger. I don't know if you guys can see it there. So it's sort of like this little sticky gummy. And so you can stick it to the back of almost anything. It works really great for um, things like fabrics or pom poms. Um, sequins, anything like that, that is a little bit harder for regular craft glue to stick to. Um, it's a great option so you don't have to use a hot glue gun um, and these can stick to almost anything. It's probably my favorite crafts, one of my favorite craft supplies. It's a lot of non-mess. They can be a little bit aggravating at times to move around if they get stuck on your finger, but they work really well and they're no mess. Agreed. That's one of the best things about a glue dot is that there's no mess involved. You don't have to worry about any cleanup. Um, they don't 
you don't have to worry about if it gets on your clothes, um, anything like that. Even if it does get on your clothes or a surface, they're usually pretty easy to just peel off, um, which is great. All right, so now that we have finished our little center on our flower, our last step is going to be attaching it to a little wooden craft stick. So you can take any color that you want. I'm gonna do a little orange one to stick with our very tight color palette here we're using. And I'm just going to take my glue again. You can also use a glue dot for this portion. Um, but it's going to put a little bit of glue on the top of my wooden craft stick. And then I'm going to take my flower and press it directly on top. So now you can see if I flip this over, it is glued to the back of my flowers. If a little bit of glue like this comes out on yours, that's totally fine. It will dry clear. You won't notice it. And then this is all still a little bit wet. So my little bead might take a little longer to dry. Same with if you're using pom poms or googly eyes, um, anything like that that is a little bit harder or more of like a, a fabric material like uh, pom poms are, those take longer to dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside. Um, but your first little bookmark is already done. Look how fast we made a whole bookmark um, with little flowers and it's ready to go. So you can make a ton of different styles like this. Um, we're gonna go through all these steps again to make another little flower and then we'll go through um, how to make a letter next as well. Okay, so our first little bookmark is complete. I'll set them over here. So next, um, we are going to make a second little flower here, but with a couple different styles of petals. If you want to make a different version, so I'm going to take a little bit of pink and yellow. All right. So you can do any style again that you want. This one I'm going to do sort of like a little triangle style. So I'm going to draw slightly curved lines that meet at a point. So it kind of looks like a little ear, like a little animal ear, um, but just a little pointed edge. So again, I'm gonna take my marker, curve it in to a little point, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And this is totally, again, an optional style. You can make any style that you want. And you can make as many petals as you want. So if you want to make a little daisy shape with 10 long skinny petals, that would be cute. Or you can make um, something similar to this with more petals as well. So don't worry if you have more or less, um, you can make them any style that you want. All right, and then we're gonna make a smaller version of this as well. And I'm not measuring these. As you can see, I'm just kind of drawing them as I go. And so if yours are a little bit similar in size when you get to the end. So that the petals don't exactly overlap so you can still see them. And I'll show you that with this one here. So I'm going to make it now a pink one that's going to be about the same size as my large one here. And again, I'm just making a second flower um, bookmark here so you guys can see all the steps again. You can definitely make as many as you want. Uh, if you've already made your first bookmark and you want to only make one flower and you're waiting until we get to the letters, we are going to do that next. So just continue to watch. Um, we're going to use basically the same steps to make our letter bookmarks as well. Um, I'll just show you how to draw a little block letter. All right, so once you finish cutting or drawing your petals, then we're going to go ahead and cut them out again. Tessa, Ariel's asking, can she use uh, junk? I think that just means any extra supplies that you may have around the house, but absolutely go ahead, correct? 
Yes, please do. I think whatever you have. So if you don't have some of these extra elements like pom poms or sequins that we're using from our arts and crafts library, you can use buttons, you can use pieces of felt or fabric. Um, you can cut down little pieces of paper straw or scraps of um, paper. So yeah, you can use anything you want to decorate. Um, you can also use junk around the house to glue onto your little uh, wooden craft stick. So if you don't want to cut out shapes, um, you could definitely glue little elements directly to your little wooden craft stick um, to make a different version of the bookmark. So yeah, you could use all sorts of fun things to make your bookmarks. All right, so I'm cutting out my other flowers here. And again, these flowers are similar in size to the first one, so about two inches or so. Um, and I think that these are a good size for a bookmark that they don't stick out too far, but you can definitely make them bigger or smaller. If you want a really big bookmark that's going to be obvious to everyone, then you can make a giant flower um, or you can make really teeny tiny ones as well. Someone just asked if they could see, if we can see what they're making. We cannot, but we would love to see it. So if you upload a picture, make sure to tag it with Michaels, um, hashtag make it with Michaels and also at Kidmain Modern. We would love, love, love to see that. Yes, please do. We love seeing everything you guys make, um, what colors you guys use. It's always so fun to see how uh, yours look so different and unique from what we're making um, and how they all are special. Okay, so now we've got three little pointy um, flowers instead, and we're going to glue them together as well. So same thing, I'm gonna take my glue and put a little dot in the middle here and put my little one on top. And then I'm going to put this on top of my other large flower. So you can see these two flowers now my pink one and this large yellow are about the same size, but I'm going to make sure that when I lay them on top of each other, I rotate it so that my petals go opposite of one another. So that way I can still see the yellow petals in between the pink ones. And I'm just going to hold these together in the center and then do the same thing we did with the first one. I'm going to hold it in the middle with one hand and then just kind of pinch the petals a little bit to bend them slightly and that will give them a little bit more dimension and just so it's not quite so flat. Right. Tessa, can you do that a little bit more up close so people can see it clearly? Yeah, let's see here. So basically when you're gonna take your petal to bend them, I'm just gonna hold this in the middle of one hand and then I'm going to put my middle finger and my thumb on either end of a petal and then take my pointer finger here and push down in the center. So it just kind of pinches it and creates a little um, bend in the center. And just doing that to all the large petals. This kind of gives it a soft bend. It's not a hard fold in the center, um, but just sort of bends the petals up a little bit. So that way you can see there's a little bit more space between them and they feel a little bit more realistic. All right, so now um, that we've glued our petals, our flowers all together, we're going to add a little center and for this one, I think we'll do a little pom-pom center. Um, so I'm going to use my glue dots again for a pom-pom. And let's see here, maybe we should do this fun little multicolored pom-pom. And again, these little pom-poms, they all come in the Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Library. So um, these ones that have multiple little colors in them are really fun, um, but you can use any pom-poms that you might have. So once I put the glue dot on the back of this palm, I'm just going to stick it directly in the center of my flower. You can also stick a googly eye in the center of your flower if you want to, um, or you can just draw or color in a little center if you don't have other little details as well. 
All right, so lastly, we're going to stick our flower onto our wooden craft stick. I'm just going to use um, a plain one. So all of these come in different colors in the little um, arts and crafts library. But again, if you don't have that kit today, you can use any color craft stick that you might have. Um, or you can also use a um, like a little straw or anything like that would work a bigger just cut out a little piece of paper or cardboard will also work if you don't have a wooden craft stick. All right, so I put a couple little drops of glue at the top and then I'm just going to take my flower and press it right onto the craft stick. And there we have this fun little flower. So now we've got two different options here. One with little pointed petals, this one's rounded. You can see different color combinations and different centers. So you can really make them as in as many styles as you want. All right. So now that we've made a couple flowers, we're going to move on to making some monogram bookmarks, um, which or just letter bookmarks. So we're going to use whatever letter you want. Um, and these we're going to do by creating a couple different sizes of the same letter. Um, and that will be so we can layer them together. So to do these, I did two different letters here, a B and a T. Um, we can do other letters as well. Um, obviously you can do any letter that you want. I'm gonna show you a couple different options today, but you use the same technique to make any letter that you want. And so we layered them together with two different color pa of paper. Um, so you wanna use at least two different colors for this if you want to layer them the same way. If you only have one color paper, um, then you can just do one shape of the letter, you don't have to layer them if you don't want to. All right, so the first one, um, I'm gonna do a, a letter L to start. So we have a B and a T there that you guys see. So I'm just gonna do a couple other letters as well to give you an idea of how to make these. So to make our first letter, we're going to draw out the letter itself first. So you can see here, we've got a L. And then we're going to tr basically follow along those same lines, but I'm going to add a little line to both ends first, and then I'm going to connect those by following down the same letter. So that creates a little block shape. I'll do that again for you guys here. And so when you make your letter first, and then this basically is going to give you an idea of how wide you want your letter to be. And then just connect those by drawing the same letter. So you can see there's like a little L and a big L and then these lines connect it to make a little block letter. Um, for other letters that aren't quite as easy as an L, um, it might look a little different. So say you wanna do an A shape. So I would do And then in the middle here, and you can make an A a ton of different ways to make it a block letter as well. So you could do a little gap in the middle here. So there's a couple different A's, there's an L, um, if you want to do a B, like we did in the sample here. A B is really easy. You can leave it just as that, or you can add in these little shapes in the middle to, that you'd have to cut out as well. Okay, so we're going to start with our L. Um, so this is going to be our first L here, and then we're going to make one that's a little bit smaller that we'll be able to fit inside. So I'm going to do that on this pink paper. So now you can see I've got my big L 
and a little L. So they're not a huge difference. It's just going to give us a little border of orange around the pink one. If there's time, Tessa, can you try a letter S as well? We'll just try one of our suggestions that someone's asked. Yeah, absolutely. We'll do an S next. Um, okay, so once you draw your letter, you're going to go ahead and cut it out. So I'm going to cut this down a little bit more to get rid of more of my little black lines here. And again, um, I'm using a black marker that is giving, leaving bigger marks just so you guys can see it a little bit better on camera. But you can use a pencil that you can erase the, the little lines as well. So I cut out my bigger one and I'm cutting out my smaller L. And then I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna cut this down a little bit more. Now we're getting a lot of uh, requests on letters. <laughs> so you guys, uh, I would just keep practicing, you know, do very similar um, you, curvy curves and things like that. I know we had a letter M and a letter N that got requested, but be sure to just keep practicing. I'm sure you guys will get it. Yeah, absolutely. We can do a couple different letters um, for you guys here. Um, so if you, I'm going to do a couple letters in just a minute, but just so you guys can see, now I have my little L and my bigger L, and we'll just glue them together to overlap them so that there's a little, there's two different colors here. And this one, again, I have my black marker lines here. Um, that's kind of fun. You can even outline it in a different color if you want to. Um, so if you are ready to glue yours together, then at this point, we are just going to add a little bit of glue to the back of our smaller letter. And I'm going to lay that right on top of my bigger letter. And then from there, we'll just go ahead and attach it to a little wooden craft stick. So again, just like we did with the flowers, I'm just going to lay, put a couple little drops of glue at the top and then take your letter and press it right on top of your wooden craft stick. So that's a very basic little L. Um, you can do this, you can add extra little details if you want to add googly eyes or sequins or um, doodles, anything like that. Or you can just do simple like we did with the B and L here and just let them be um, a simple little letter. Okay, so let's do a couple other letter options here for you guys. Let's see, first request was an S, right? Correct. All right, so to do an S, you're gonna do is draw your letter. So we've got an S here. And then you're gonna do the same basic things. I'm gonna draw a little line to expand to give me an idea of how wide my S will be. And then I'm going to go around and connect it. And this guy's a little bit funky. Let's try another one here. And when you cut out your S's, you can easily trim off all the black. You can make them um, a little bit more even as you trim off all of your lines. Um, you can also do them on the back of your paper and then you can flip your paper over. So that will get rid of all of your lines as well as you cut it out. Uh, let's see here. We also wanna do a letter M. So an M you can do a couple different ways if you want to. Um, so I'm going to do an M with little rounded little humps on the top. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Sorry, guys. Okay. So there's a little M, or you can do it like a capital M. Uh, 
like that. So you can do them in a couple different ways. Um, and so if you want to do, say, this bigger M, then we're going to cut that out. And then you're just going to cut out whatever letters that you make. And you flip that over. Some letters are really easy to flip over. Um, they look the same either way. Some you can't. So that's where if you're using a pencil, you can just erase any of your little lines. And so there we have a little M here. And then you can do another smaller version of that to put in the middle as well. So we'll take maybe a different color here. And we're gonna make a smaller version of our M. And you can cut out your letters and you can use them or cut off all the extra little bits of it and get rid of any pencil marks. And this little one, I'm just gonna layer these together here. Trim this down a little bit more. As you can see, I'm just cutting it away little bits as I go. Um, to make it all line up and be a smaller version inside. And again, layering the letters is totally up to you to do. You don't have to. So this little one, you can see just made a little version of it that's going to sit right inside of it. So you can do all sorts of little layers, um, which are really cute. You can make even a smaller one that would sit inside of that as well. And then once you cut out your letter, just glue your smaller one right on top of your bigger one. So again, I kind of like that this one just shrinks into the middle of it and you've got this pink border around the outside. You could do another different color and make a smaller little M to go inside of that. And then for this one, you can add some little googly eyes if you wanted to. Um, for instance, these ones are, um, they already have little sticky on the back that are from the Art and Crafts Library. Um, so you could add little eyes if you want to, turn your letters into little faces. Looks so cute. And then you can stick this on. So for, depending on your letter, depends on where you want to stick it onto your wooden craft stick. You could stick it onto one side and let all of this hang off. You could stick it in the middle. Um, whatever works for you is fine. So for my M here, I'm going to stick it in the middle. Let me get a little bit of glue. And then you can see we've got our M all attached. If you flip it over, you can see there's glue um, and then that will dry and you've got a couple different letters here. We've got a little bit more time, so I'm going to show you guys. I know um, we'll do a whole letter S since that was a request, so I'll show you guys again for an S here. So just draw your little snaky S and then you can come around. So we're going to cut this out.
And again, you can make yours as big or as small as you want. So if yours are a little bit bigger, or a little bit smaller, that's fine. And you can just keep drawing them. Um, as Lori said, just keep practicing your letters till you find the this, this shape and size that you like. And they'll look so cute. So you can see here, my S uh, again has its little black markers along the edge here. You can trim all that off if you want. It'll just make it a little bit thinner. Um, or again, if you're using pencil, then you can just erase any of your little lines. And if you are um, having trouble with drawing a second letter that fits inside of the first one, like we did, then you don't have to do that either. So you can just draw a single letter. So we'll show you that here. So it's an S, especially getting two of them to be the same exact size can sometimes be hard. Um, so you don't have to do any extra if you don't want to. You could always just add in some fun details instead. So say uh, we'll do a couple little sequins on this so we can decorate the letters as well. I'm gonna take my glue dots here on my sequins. And you can easily add a fun little sequin, maybe stick a little rhinestone on there. Um, these again all are from the Kid Made Mar Modern Arts and Crafts Library. So you can add fun little details to your letters like that instead of doing layers also. And then you can glue that directly onto your letter or onto your wooden craft stick. So this just gives you a couple different ideas of different ways you could decorate letters. Um, you can layer, layer your paper or your materials, or you can just do a single cutout and then glue that on. They got this fun little flower S um, you can add another little flower. You can always add extra little details onto your bookmark itself. Um, so if you want to add more little sequins, I think doing sequins um, or little doodles, or you could paint your, your little wooden craft stick, anything like that. Um, I'd probably add anything on this por portion. I would keep pretty flat so that it can still fold in your book. Um, but now you can see there's all sorts of fun little details you can make with different letters um, or different little shapes of flowers or hearts or stars, whatever you want to make. And they'll all be different. So that's what's fun about a craft like this is that you can make them a ton of different ways and each one will be unique. Um, so you can personalize them if you want to make them as gifts um, or just make them for a different version for yourself for every book that you're reading. All right. So now we've made a whole ton of different bookmarks together today. All of these are so fun. I hope that you guys had fun crafting with us today and that you made your own little friends to go in your books. Um, and we're gonna be back in September with some more crafts. So I'm excited to craft with you guys then. Um, our first craft in September is going to be making some fall, fall collage crafts. So we're going to be making these adorable little pumpkin and fall leaf um, artwork that's full of little beads and pom-poms. Um, so I'm excited to craft with you guys again on September 7th. So thanks so much for crafting with us and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks.